So it being 7 o'clock, I'm going to open up the Conservation Commission meeting for August 10th. First on the agenda is a request for determination of applicability. Public meeting continued. Irene Rule seeks to install a seasonal floating dock along the Connecticut River at 99 Aquavita Road, map 4A, parcel 25. So, Irene? Well, I'm happy to say that I have the engineer's stamp for my plan now. That's happened since I was here last. So I, here's a copy of the whole plan that I sent to the DEP, and I flagged the page that has the engineer's stamp on it. Okay. Um, and also, I sent it out <coughs> by mail to the um, in Natural Heritage and Native Species. Mm -hmm. um, they can see the, that that uh, application is in there too. I think it might be at the very end, maybe. Okay. Um, so I mailed that out to them, and they're supposed to reply within 30 days, and that was a couple weeks ago. <coughs> I don't honestly think you're going to have a problem down there, but we can always wait for the response. But I, we can. Oh, um, oh. Hmm? You guys want to wait for the response from them? You're saying? No. I, I, well, we should wait for the response. I don't think it's going to be an issue. Yeah, I don't think so either, but in any case, the DEP won't approve the plan if the Natural Heritage doesn't approve, approve it. So, yeah. um, we, I, we, we could potentially, when we get to that point, close the hearing and our permit would be subject to the hearing of Natural Heritage before we issue the mm -hmm. determination and said Springfield, which they're going to want to see anyways. Yeah, sure. Um, I went onto the DEP's website and downloaded um, all that information and filled out their form online and all that. So they have received it and acknowledged it. And when I look up the um, account, it says it's in process. Okay. And that was two weeks ago again. So yeah, I just have to wait to hear from them. And you did pay the town fee for the request of determination of what bill? Did I do what? The pay the fee for the yes. Okay, got I, was yes. I don't see it in the file, but it was before I got the phone on my shoulders. And so, um, Oh, it's fifty dollars, right? Yeah. You're saying the conservation yeah. commission yeah. one? Oh, yes, yes, I did right. definitely. And I paid the fee to the natural heritage, and I paid the fee to the DEP. <clears throat> there hasn't been a dock here yet, right? There has not been a dock there ever. You know what, though? I'll tell you to plead, plead my case here. Um, since we weren't going to have the dock there this year, we wanted to put our pontoon boat there and we decided to just anchor it. So we said, well, why don't we use these helical 48 inch anchors that we're going to use the same type on the dock, right? So we put three of them in and we put lines from, from there to the front of the pontoon and then upstream to the back. And then we did put a regular anchor in the other corner to keep it out. And um, unfortunately, when the water started going up, we weren't able to get the boat out. Like, we would have taken it out. The water was getting so high. But it was stuck there. So we're like, well, this will tell us if these are going to hold. Those things did not move an inch. I mean, we would go out every few days and check it to make sure everything was OK. Um, we had a huge, oh my god, we had a huge log, like from me to you, Steve. And it's like this big around. It got caught in the anchor line, and it was hanging from the boat downstream, but those other lines were holding the whole thing, and it was just floating there. <clears throat> so anyway, those things work really well for future reference. Throw the same lens and show heel the anchors holding the dock. It's not far enough, it's not touching the bottom of the water. You go plenty of water there. Say good. You got enough water there? Well, yes, because, um, well, I, I think I called it two feet at, like, the average normal um, height uh, before all the rain. Yeah. Um, it was two feet closer to shore, but then goes to three feet. And again, you know, there's a picture there. I think it might be the third page from the end of the pontoon boat. And yeah. you can see it's closer to the shore than it's going to be with the dock, certainly. And it's floating perfectly fine there. Yeah. So. You know, there has not been any trouble, even before all the rain, of it being at risk of, of hitting the bottom. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess if, it, if the water went way down for some strange reason, like it did last year, I think that yeah. was. Um, but Does the level of the river fluctuate with uh, Northfield filling up its reservoir and stuff? No. No? We're not affected by Northfield here. 
Really? It's only in the upper pond. It has no effect on the upper pond. Really? Hmm. Uh, installation, how do you plan to put it in and out? With that? Um, with just carrying it, because it's only eight by four foot sections. Okay. So we'll have four guys or whatever, a couple guys, whatever we need to lift them. Um, I said I'll have a, just a walking path through the marshland there mm -hmm. um, to the shore, but it's just a narrow path what it, just to get through mm -hmm. from the field up at the top. Yeah. Any other questions from the board members? No, I they think that she did a lot of the work here. Where are you going to store the docks? Where are you going to store them? Wait, I'm sorry. Store them, the docks? You're going to leave them on the bay? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. No, we'll bring them to our house and yeah. store them in the back of the lot. Yeah, yeah. Because, again, they're small. We can put them in a truck. We can stack them up. <clears throat> so. Well, I'll be looking for a motion from someone to close the hearing. Mm -hmm. Jordan makes a motion. I'll second it. Second by Edward. Any discussion further? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, so basically I looked at the determination of applicability earlier. So this would be a negative determination. And the two boxes that apply, number two, the work described and requested within an area subject to protection of the act, but will not remove, still dredge, or alter that area, and therefore said work is not required to follow the notice of intent. The third box, number three to be checked, is the work described and addressed is within the buffer zone as defined in regulations, but will not alter an area subject to protection under the act, therefore said work does not require to follow the notice of intent, subject to the following conditions, if any. That's if I'm checking box three. Mm -hmm. And the, the condition would be that you would forward to us before the dock is installed the DEP permit mm -hmm. that you'll receive. And obviously that will be contingent on hearing from National Heritage. Right. As well. Sure. Okay. And uh, that'll be it. Um, the board agree? We have a motion yes. for that? No. Yep. Gordon, second. Steve? Yeah. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. All right. Okay. You all set? Hopefully, you'll be here and cook for you. Plan to put it on probably what, next year's dock? Wait, I'm sorry. We're going to put the dock in probably next year? Yes, year? oh, yeah. Yeah. Good luck. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Second on the agenda is request for determination of applicability, public hearing continued. Next hand. Seems to modify solar array for energy storage by installing concrete tabs and poles in the buffer zone off Westgate Center Drive, map 10 d parcel 29. And who hears for that? No one's here for next amp? Evidently. Okay. So, uh, we need a motion to continue it to the second Tuesday of September, September 14th at 7 p.m. Motion made by Gordon. Second. Second by Edwin. Edwin. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Now, before I, I said 7 p.m., does the board want to meet earlier at 6.30 instead, or do you want to still stay at 7? You going to change it all the time, or just for next time? I'm just trying to get, get in earlier than I'm going so late. Yeah. 6.30. 6.30 yeah. with you? 6.30 sounds good. 6.30, so the September 14th meeting will be at 6.30, and that will be the time that this will be continued to. Okay. Yeah. Next, request for determination of applicability public meeting. L. Wanzi seeks to install above ground pool and buffer zone at 246 Bay Road. Map 8, parcel 36-3. We have someone here for that. Okay. I'd like to entertain a motion to continue that also to September 14th at 6.30. So moved. So who moves it first? Gordon? Yeah. Second? I'll second it. Edwin? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And, not, and September 14th? Yep. Yeah.
Okay, next up is request for determination of applicability public meeting. Mm -hmm. E. Smith of WDB Engineering seems to install three dash four electric utility vehicle recharging stations in the parking lot at 458 Russell Street, known as Stop and Shop Plaza, map 10D, parcel 20. And who here is to represent that? Um, Kevin Garrett from Maverick Construction. Okay. On the Director of Electrical Services, I got some handouts for the gentleman. Oh, thank you. Here. Okay. Okay. And what are the? I'm here with uh, Don Chaplin from uh, Chaplin from EVGO. They're the suppliers of the EV equipment. Looks like you've already installed my picture. You like it? Pretty good with it. Pretty good with it. It's, it's actually the we, scale too. We, we have David Copperfield under our employment also. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, we would be the contractor of record for the installation. And the building inspector asked that we uh, run these plans by you, you guys. And we actually ran a line out there of our attended uh, our intended uh, pathway from the Eversource electrical pole to where the heavy charging stations and an Eversource transformer would be going. And we just uh, want to make sure we're, we're going. Did that site get flooded a couple weeks ago when we had the torrential rain? I have no idea. Um, I know that uh, that ditch on the southern side of the parking lot was flipping full and water was going over into the intersection of the subgroup nine. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah. And I'm just, uh, did you guys take that into consideration? That yes, we did. It, it, I actually drove out there uh, the week that it was raining just to check, take a look. Yeah. The flooding was further down. Okay. Oh, because you had the diner and then a couple of island stalls and then what we're proposing, the flooding was further down okay. uh, on the uh, other e uh, exit um, mm -hmm. by the gas station. Yeah. That's where the flooding was. Where right. we were at, we, there was no puddling or anything near uh, the proposed new curbing that we're installing. Good. Good. It <laughs> appears, especially after the, what I hear on the radio about the report that got sent to everybody in the world. <laughs> uh, it, we're, we're, we're in for more of those stories. Yeah. No, no, the location itself, the base off, we also have, the, if you look at the drawing uh, on the last page, is a small site survey. You can see that it has elevations on there. Um, we were based on, on how they're being built, we're a little bit on higher ground. Good. Yeah. So, how far away are you guys from what line? I would say possibly about 100 feet. It's just, we, we received our building permit. I met with the building inspector and the fire marshal on site. Yep. Um, and we went through it, and the building inspector didn't have any issues with it, but he did, he was going to put us in contact with conservation with Janice, yeah. uh, just to make sure that you know, we went through the proper channels. Because even though it, it, it's not as close as she thought it was going to be to the wetlands, the fact that it's nearby, that we should just uh, cross our eyes and down her. Mm -hmm. cross, our, cross our teeth and down our eyes mm -hmm. uh, with you guys before the build takes place. But oh, I said they take you to do the build? The build itself is going to be about three weeks from start to finish. Do you feel that there is enough demand for it right now? Or there's a huge demand for what you're doing right now. This yeah. will be the only, other than the Tesla stations down here, which are only for Teslas, this will be the only EV fast charger in the area. Yeah, the closest really? one would be Chicopee. Really? We can't have our open 24 7 either. This will be. Oh, really? Yes, this will be operational 24 7. Mm -hmm. And there's 27 hour support if anyone ever has any issues with trying to get the thing started. Yeah. Our headquarters is out of uh, Los Angeles. Oh, the machines, these chargers are, are run off of uh, Wi Fi mode. So we dial into it constantly to make sure that they're running for the public. Mm -hmm. So I did look at the plans. Um, and I have something else to look at. Mm. 
we're showing like off so of the basically dirty, underground. Yeah, see it's right here. This is this is what I got around here. This is the that's right here. This line is right here. And you're coming off of this pole, which is right there. And you're coming across to come into the where the easy goes. So the issue is right here. They are within this the work is starting within the 35 foot wetland buffer zone of our bylaw. Yep. They're like a foot and two inches in the 35 foot. Well we can adjust that though, because we haven't I mean Eversource, we're gonna be working with Eversource. We can we can adjust that over and swing it across the state. Well we, we have two options. Either we could the board can agree to a variance okay. of that 14 inches. <laughs> If you could do it 35 feet out, it makes it easy for everybody. Right. We, can, we can actually do that. Yeah, yeah. 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 that's, that's very cool. Absolutely. If you can, then we don't have to write that into the term. No, we, right. could, we, we could easily move that to be outside of the 35 foot buffer. Because that would and be, give yourself a little bit of a buffer. Yes. Yeah. Don't go 14 inches. No, 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 no. <laughs> what you're going to have to do then is resubmit to us at some point a plan showing that we could potentially close the year in the subject to whatever thing gets in the scuff. This is not a done deal yet. Yep. And that are receiving that and we're, we're fine with cards and commencing with work. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we can get that. Yeah, we can get those two. Should we email this to Janice? There's no more Janice. Oh, there's no more Janice. Janice. Yeah. You're looking at Janice and Paula and my boss. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just check. <laughs> um, You can just take 35 feet away the whole time, anyway, right? Yeah. Well, once they get past that point, you know, you see, yeah. that's the wetland line right here. So you can see you get far away. That red is where the bridge is going. Yeah, yeah. That's the utilities coming from the pole. So that's that's the wetland line right here. <laughs> So the only place they're close is the initial right. hole to begin with. Right. Once they <coughs> shift it over, which I say yep. we could technically 14 inches in the shoulder. Right. So if we come out of, off this pole, because the pole's staying, we yep. are saying we just kick it over this way. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I think I think the board members would all agree with me. I'm not speaking from what I'm not to say. It's so close to 35 foot being a utility. But before I get too far ahead, I want to say guys, this is not high in the rules and regulations, but the whole is actually in the width in that 35 foot buffer. So we would probably we would still better force. Yeah, because the pole is in the buffer. Is it well, I'm, well, I'm just going to issue it as such. Yeah. Okay. If you can move it fine, because we're going to do a positive five determination on that part of the work. Okay. And then there's, there's conditions for that. Okay. I'll explore it when I get to that. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. So it's not a major project. No. If the board have any further questions, I would just <coughs> entertain a motion to close the hearing and we talk about the determination. So moved. I've moved it. Second. Board and seconded. That'll be the any discussion further, correct? No. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. So we get our determination for one. Okay, we're good. 
Okay, is there a second on that? Second. Okay. I wasn't saying that. Okay. So that sets up what's called a positive determination number five. The area of work described in reference plans and documents are subject to review and approval by the town of Hadley Conservation, Hadley Conservation Weapon Bylaw. And I can put a notation underneath that that we voted to give them a variance of the found 35 foot, basically the 33 foot 10 inches. Okay. And then it would also be amended to three. The work described in the request is within the buffer zone as defined in regulations, but will not alter areas such as protection of the act. Therefore, say work does not require the following of an almost intent subject to the following conditions. The conditions I would propose would be uh, we have proper erosion control. Mm -hmm. sure. And that you notify the commission prior to and after the work is completed. Do I have a motion for those? I'll make it. Do I have a motion for that? Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Passes to the floor. Can you just finish the next one? Yeah. Does this mean you're, getting, you're, you're installing three to four electric vehicle recharging stations? Does that mean one of you're going to uh, even expand it in the future? Or you it could. Could it? Yeah, potential. In the potential future. From this facility or? From this facility. So I'm, I take it you've got to go to the path and condo or whatever to. Yeah. Yes, we're, we're, we're not right. having to come back to the estimate? No, no. The only, the only thing that we would just need to excavate is just installing the. Charges themselves. That's really it. As you can see, the two white boxes that are in the parking stalls, yeah. those are the dispensers uh, for the electric vehicles. So, in theory, if we get enough demand there and we see that the demand's there, we'll add two more to the parking stalls next year. Okay, okay. I'll take the charge one up. These right here <coughs> depends on your battery, but normally about 20 to 25 minutes to the fast charging stations. So what the great thing about this is they can go and just go shop. By the time they get back, they'll get this uh, charge for about 90 to 95 percent depending on their battery capacity. And it only costs about a dollar thirty uh, a minute, equivalent to a dollar thirty a gallon if you were filling your car. I'm curious what the, the uh, how the math works with what you're doing with electricity. Oh. Yeah, so they charge, we, we charge by the minute. So it, it, they figured out the map to keep it far below what it would cost you to fill up a car. Yeah, but if you get, if you get a dollar, if you have to prorate it down to a portion of a gallon because it's not, but you don't get a gallon of gas for a dollar thirty. No, that would have to get probably a quarter Correct. or something. Mm -hmm. Well, the great thing about this is, is unlike Conventional gas stations, you don't need weights and measures to verify that you're actually getting a gallon because this is, you're charging the battery, the battery is being charged based off of the electricity. Yeah, I have one other quick question before we let you leave. Did you pay the fees for this? Yes, I did. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't have record of that yet. You're talking the building permit fee? The request for determination of applicability fee. No, I unless uh, No, we never did. I can double check that. If not, we can make sure we pay it's, right. a, it's a $50 fee. Yeah. So can you get that check to us? Sure. I, I will either wait till you provide us with a copy of the check, cash and check. Uh, or yeah, you, I don't think they sent that, that $50 fee. I, I, like that. I will withheld this request. No, we'll, we'll make sure we get that. Yeah. We can move on to other business at this point. We have other business to cover. First is the discussion. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. First is the discussion. We are we have the ability to recommend who we might think would be appropriate to fill the conservation commission vacancies. There's currently two vacancies. And I did previously send gave you all letters to the five potential new members and we have one of the 
Ray McCall. Would you like to say anything, Ray, or are you just fine with the letter? No, I'm fine with the letter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks for noticing. So, so we have the ability to make some recommendations of what we think might be appropriate. Um, right off the top, I looked at all five applicants, Ray Mishkowski, Edward Fedor, Andrew Ganonic, Joe Boisberg, and David Bowden. Any discussion? Who, who would like to start with this? Does anybody have a recommendation that they would think? I think, uh, I think they each pass this pretty much. Okay, so you're the first person. Yourself, Steve? Huh? Great. Engineer, different. Not a farmer, not a body man. Yeah, we've got two farmers on the board already. We've got a couple business people on the board already. Yep. And Edwin, yourself? I, I put it Ray as number one. Okay. And uh, the only question I have is, uh, uh, we work in uh, West Greenfield as a senior en engineer, and I eventually became the town's highway superintendent. And what happened? Did you get hired? I don't think we <laughs> can really ask that question. Well, I mean, I can answer it. But no it, that's, I mean, it's I, totally. I got, a, I, got a, I got a good offer. I look for uh, a Verizon now. Okay. Um, it, it did hurt to leave. I mean, I didn't believe that. I loved, I loved working there. I loved doing, doing what I was doing. But I mean, that's the only thing I, I at the time, I had. You know, at the time, you know, a young family and everything like that. So it, and I was just, I was back and forth having the West Springfield at all hours of the day. This and, this position pays very well too. Yeah. yeah. I heard it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think the whole board is a unanimous agreement. Uh, I'm going to try to put some type of letter together and I'll get your signatures on that as far as recommending Ray. Thank you. So the discussion will be on a second potential member. Uh, I'm a little undecided myself. Uh, the remaining four people. I did recommend that Edward Fedor apply to the Cup Select Board. I was looking for somebody to apply. Because in the past, we had a hard time getting anybody to apply, period. It's not a very popular board to be on. As I said, the pay is not that great either. But what are your thoughts, Steve? Well, I don't know. A couple of them, one I've had dealings with. A couple of my eyes. I don't know. I don't know. What so, you, could you go with either, either of the other people or you want to just stay neutral? I mean, another one I can really, that I really know of, about would be uh, Boisbury, you know, but I don't know if we want to go you know, another farmer <coughs> or not, you know, as far as personal experiences with my other ones, I don't know, just by reading the resume, you can't tell everything. So you don't have a recommendation, no. So you're going to be moving. Add one yourself. I have an Andy United as my number two, and I get Joe Boisler as last. That's what I have. And you know, Mr. Ray, do you have a third? Do you want to give a third? Or you can say, I don't have a third. I have a third is uh, Theodore. Okay. That's who, uh, based on the resumes they sent. So, and I'll ask you, Gordon, what are your thoughts? Do you have a second or third explanation? So what I'll do afterwards is I'll put a letter together for the board and you know, list each of our preferences mm -hmm. as that way. Okay, so Good, thank you. It would be myself, uh, Ray and Edward. You said Ray and Edward. You're saying Ray on the side, correct? Right? And Edward's going to go with Ray, Andrew, and then Edward. And then with the select board, take it from there. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we will check phone and email messages at the office. That's going to be a good question. Let's pick that up with the town administrator. Uh, review of complaints from the select board office. There were six complaints that were made. Has everyone seen those yet? No. Nope. You want to see them tonight or you want to take it up at another meeting? Well, I think we should take it up at a different meeting. Uh, um, I, I didn't realize that I could have been. Is it 
drop off the check for $50 if that's okay. Don't have it? Yep. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you. I do have the six letters if the board wants to see them.
So we're not here to complain, we're not here to fight, we're just here to, because we were invited to the meeting. I want to let you know that we are in process. In your defense, I know you had campus here previously. The magic timeline is 1996. Yeah, we were there before that. But what was there before that and what happened after that? So that's the river bill that was passed. Correct. And that's what dictates there's no restrictions on it right after 1996. So since the inception of us owning the property, there's always been a minimum of eight campers. There's always been a minimum of eight owners. Which you, what would help is if you can provide any documentation. Yeah, I'm going to try. Prior to 1996. Yeah. A lot of people have stuff like that. They recreate, they take pictures, whatever. Yeah. They can establish somewhat of a, of a base of what was there. Yeah. And then we can address anything that happened after 1996. Correct. The only problem is, and I told this to my attorney, our attorney, is uh, the my father was an original owner. Well, since then, all of the original owners are dead. You know, they, they left. They, I'm happy. <laughs> except for one, and he's on his way out. Chef Kozlowski is on his way out. <laughs> but uh, so trying to get photographs from these people that are gone, long gone, and we're having a hard time. You know, uh, we're down. We're in third generation now. My son, my son was left the property from my dad. But if you have some type of a sketch of what was there, we do back then and what there is today. Yeah. But I think it has expanded since then. No, that property's never changed. No. No. The only thing that happened, Gary, you probably remember this, is back in the 80s, um, the property started to erode to the point where it was going to land in your marina. And they brought in the Army Corps of Engineers, the Conservation Commission, the DEP, and the other, every other officiating body they could find. And they gave them permission to fill that in. Do you know what year that was? Oh, God. 85? 84, 85? Guess what? 80. I was on the board then. Yeah. Huh? I was on the board then. <clears throat> you were what? I was on the board then. Yeah. I was probably the chairman at that time, too. Well, if you remember all the And I, and I permitted it. Yeah. It was Mike like, Pawatka. Yeah. Because okay. it was going to take the bridge out is what was going to happen. It wouldn't have taken the bridge out. The, the, I, I know what the hole was. The yeah. How you dumped the concrete. Yeah, the concrete. The bridge worked there. <laughs> Correct. Okay. So that's the only change that has ever been made to that property. I've, I've, I've been on the board long enough. Yeah. Other, other than cleaning it up, because when they did buy it, it was somewhat of a junkyard. Yeah. You know how the old timers were, they didn't get shit. Like the shit. only thing I would, I don't know how far it extended before toward the bike path. Never, nothing. Nothing. I mean, because I think you have campers all the way to the bike path. We do. All that was, though, was we own right to the bike path. But years ago, that was all ingrown, yeah. way up. And then uh, when they decided to they just, they just clear it up is what they did. They cut back and cut back, and we're, you know, we're still away from the bike path. But, but when did that start? Well, my father was still alive. He was dead 20 years. So um, again, that was back in the 80s, 84, 85. Well, 20 years ago would be 1998, roughly, right? Yeah. But, no. No, no, 2001. 2001. 2001. But, it, the, but he's been, he was camping down there in 84. So that's when it all when that happened. It's, it's any work after 96, that's the question. No, nothing after 96. You, know, you, you said you cleared there. Camp is moved. Way before. That was all cleared before. Well, the other thing is you still have to go through the permit process for the other Understood. boards and the setbacks and the oh. clearances. And, so we, don't, we don't disagree with that at all. I understand you have more work to do. Yes. At this point, uh, we're going to need more information from you. You're going to get it. But until then, you're technically in violation. There's no permits for it. Okay, so okay. this is, again, why it's in the attorney's hands. So, uh, and we got I'm not going to tell you to take everything out of there. We're already so the season. But yeah, right. What has happened before, we have to document and... Okay. Uh, is anything out there that people have to just go through the process? Absolutely. That's all we're saying. We're not, we don't, we're not anti campus we, we don't that disagree with anything you're saying. We just need, it. We just need a little time. That's all. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. fair enough. That's all. That's all we're asking. The rest of the board agree with that? No, yeah. I don't believe that was 1982 that there were those repairs were made. 82? It had to be after 82. Is that? I know for a fact I was there when that concrete went in. You know, and I didn't get on the board until after 84. After 84. I was, I was in North Carolina in 1982. But I purposely. No, that's 80, right. it's 82. Because I think it's right here. I have to go back. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Do you, want, do you want to copy this? or we have another copy? I'm just going to go for it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless. Unless more was put in after that. Because that's where you, that's where the, it's right on the. Right on the, yeah. Yeah. You get kind of a fence and. It took a year to do it, I know that. Yeah. Very uh, Is he still alive? Barely. Yeah, he's alive. He's still alive. I know Harry. He hasn't changed his Harry, you knew all of us at one time. <laughs> <laughs> the con town has been getting grief from a lot of the, municip the, the municipality of the town of Hadley saying, get going, get going, guys, get going. See, the today we could, we could let you do this. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> the police department is having a day saying, what if we get a phone call saying one of you, if somebody had a heart attack or something? Where do we go? Every time we, we, don't know. Every time we look over that so, thing, it's, you know, the fire get away with that the same thing. thing. No way. That's what we're we, trying, we trying to get into this color. It's not so easy yeah. anymore. No. No. Okay. <laughs> so uh, I would just continue you on the agenda to the next meeting. Can you let us know if you have something to present? All right. So I'll, the attorney is supposed to be here tonight. I'll give him a call tomorrow. This, this is a technical violation. We have to act on this. Yep. I mean, we have to, we can't ignore it, but we can't make it, I don't think we need to make a decision tonight. No. Okay? We wanted to at least show up. Yeah, we wanted to show up. Thank you. We were asked to show up. So. Okay. When is the next meeting? September 14th. It'll be 6.30. Here. Okay. We have another complaint. Property off Lawrence Plain Road. Is that what you're here for? That's what I'm here for. Yeah. Can we go? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's done to the attention of the conservation crew. You need to do a work in the river front area without a conservation DEP yeah. yeah. permit. Any structure within 200 feet of river front area is supposed to get a permit from the con con first. We request you to come to this meeting, which you have a your representative. This is sent to John Wiskowski Jr. I believe you're also one of the owners. Yes. Yes, I am. Okay. And we have a picture here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone seen it? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And what's the question is there's a camper and looks like a deck being built within 100 feet of the river. Yeah, that's right. Um, my, my uncle's been living down there for the summer. He's got he's terminal cancer. I guess he he's got to, he's to the point where he can't walk. He wanted to build a, uh, a, a, a handicap ramp, basically, to get to the camper. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a, and, uh, and he's got you know he's got a small deck there. He, um, it's, it's a temporary structure. It will be gone. As, you know, <laughs> either yeah I don't understand you know. Um, you don't, know you don't know what to say. Yeah I, yeah. yeah. I, I I don't know if is it possible we could take a site visit to see if we're going to get shot at. <laughs> <laughs> so then we want to, it's, 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 I know he doesn't own the property, but if we could see what it is, it would help. Um, yep. Technically, we've asked everybody that has a camper from the mean high water mark to be 100 feet back. The first 100 foot of the river front bill, we're trying to keep campers out of the first 100 feet. And then, not that we can't say we can be within the next 100 feet, but even if he could be out of 200 foot in front, he's supposed to be out of 200 foot total. Unless there's a reason why. Understand. But we this this whole camper thing is turning to a mess. We've got a lot lot to go through yet. We've been, our last order of conditions is being appealed by uh, an applicant, and I'm waiting to hear from the DDP how they're going to handle that. Campers within 100 feet. Okay. I know there was a settlement between the town and your uncle Ted. I have a copy of that agreement. Yep. Allowing for five campers and four campsites. 
That's but correct. What it does state, stipulate on page six, number six, is there the town reserves its right to enforce any and all applicable laws within its jurisdiction, including those related to public safety, environmental regulations, meaning CONCOM, providing that such enforcement shall not impinge upon any or negate any rights that we just set forth in this agreement. So basically what it's saying is, in order to place a camper wherever it is on the property and potentially build a structure, it needs to come up with a conservation commission. I don't understand. Where, oh, uh, yeah, no, I believe me, it, it was, it was, uh, it was built uh, before, before I knew it. I understand. <laughs> so, um, I can imagine yeah. how that happens. Yeah, we, um, I know yeah, this is, uh, what is this, August? We get two more months. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not, I don't think we should let it stay for two months, take it out, like you know, everybody else got to remove their stuff, and if you got to put it back next year, to do it, put a permit. I mean, you know, I don't, we all know what's going on with Teddy, okay? I'm not going to go down here and say, you got to remove this when he's in that condition that he's in. I'm not going to, I don't think we should we, do it. We, we just can't, I know, the bottles become a permanent. Exactly. As long as we don't make it permanent, then our other let's orders, just go to the conditions that are under appeal to DEP because we didn't allow campers with 100 feet of bank line or structures that weren't already pre existing or grandfathered before the River Bill of 1996. Mm -hmm. So technically, it is in violation. Is there any? Yeah, the camper's not within 100 feet. It is done. The camper is not within 100 feet. Is there any possibility he could get that structure and camp it back outside the first hundred foot for now? It's going to take a little bit. Yeah. The camper is or isn't in the hundred foot. Correct. It is or isn't. It's not. It is not. But the structure is. The structure is temporary. It's a temporary structure. He just wanted to, you know, he just wants to be down there for the time that he has left. I don't know how to handle this one technically. Uh, it sounds like it's going to be a temporary, temporary, because I'm sure he's terminal. Yes. Yes. I hate this. Say that. Um, That's why I just said what I just said. Let's you want to continue. Let Teddy stay down there for another couple of months, and then it's gone. We all know the guy. It will be gone. I think he was acting on a complaint about the letter. Yeah. That's what he's doing. And, yes. and the structure will be removed, just not immediately. You're going to do just as much damage removing it now as you will in two months. How big is the structure? Can we can we have a site visit? We'll con we'll con yeah. What I'll do is, I'd like to continue this to next month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And if you can talk with Ted and let me know, you know how to get a hold of him. Yeah. And I'll get a hold of the board members. And let us come down here and see it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And we'll continue until next next month, okay. September 14th. Yeah. Does the board agree with that? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I have I a think motion. Have to I'll make continue a motion. this complaint like we did the last one. Yep. Yeah. Make a motion. I don't know if, you, if I did that for the last people. Did I do a bonus opinion? Complaint? I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I'm out of my mind tonight. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of things I don't want to do. <laughs> so I'd like to see a motion that continues to September 14th. I made it. After we. Second? Second. After we can get down here and take a look at the structure, right. how extensive it is, uh, how temporary it is. Is it posted to the ground? Is it sitting on top of the ground? It's sitting on the ground. Okay, that's important. So you're not yeah. concrete, you're not making it a more of a permanent structure. It's almost like it's setting in place. Yeah. And, um, I don't know if the conservation laws allow it, but it's almost a compassionate plea to uh, give someone a little bit of the last enjoyment because it's not going to be there next year. Right? It will not be there next year. Yeah. Like I said, I'm going to uncharted water. Right. And whether I can even do that. And I'm just one of the board members. I'm not the whole board. We right. have four people right now, and hopefully we'll be back to five or six in another month. And that will, you know, 
hopefully you'll be on the board well. Yeah, okay. you'll have to, I'll have to. You'll have to go sit there and come yeah. back over here. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So I think we're all in agreement. Aye. 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 Okay. So we have two other complaints. Um, one is about a neighbor to the south of the marina. We're being directly south of our my docks. David Bowen, who put in a small dock recently and set of stairs going down the bank. And uh, I have previously told him when I saw the docks being built that he doesn't have to come in to apply for a permit. Mm -hmm. But he has not done that yet. And I have personally talked to him. I thought he was going to be here at the meeting tonight, but he's not. But he is in the process. He doesn't own the property, but he is in the process of going through applying for a permit for a single dock. He is going through the process right now. Yes. So I would also continue that until September 14th of our motion. So many. Going to move, second. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, he's also one of the five applicants for the position of Conservation Commission, too. Mm -hmm. I don't see that we probably can't apply, uh, give him a permit at some point. It's a small dock. Well, as long as he comes in and applies, he's going to go through the yeah, process. He's got to do it. That's like everybody process. else. So. Right. That's the third complaint. The fourth complaint we have, uh, I don't have the pictures of it here, but it was on the computer. Janice didn't print it out because she did send these people. Okay, we got one, two. Oh, there's actually two other complaints. One is uh, a dock up on Six River Drive, which was my father's house, which is currently owned by Andrew Bombardier. And he has uh, done work improving the stairs going down to the dock and the landing. We have photos of it submitted by a, a person who complained. I will also continue that until September 14th. I don't, it was, there was pre-existing stairs of the dock there for my father on the property that was sold by our estate three years ago. But we have to discuss that. I don't have a picture of that. We'll continue. Continue. Motion mm -hmm. made by Gordon. Yes. Yes. Second by Lee. Okay, right. The fourth complaint was a uh, picture sent to us concerning, and I don't know why they aren't here tonight either, but they, they weren't contacted by Janice before she left office. But it has to do with Mitch's Marina. Uh, there's pictures of cables going from their trees mm -hmm. to their docks. And uh, I will go down and talk to them personally. The DEP does frown upon using trees as an anchoring source for docks. Their preference of uh, something like the heel anchors that other people are using. Are they new or something that's been there forever? This is, this is, to my knowledge, this is how they secure the docks and this is the 50s. <coughs> but I would have to ask them to come into the board. Yeah. Like that's fair. Okay. That's fair. So, okay. Uh, but I, I have to respond. Because we have four complaints, right. they're all from the same person. All four complaints are from the same person, yep. Yeah. And the complaint is made by Mark Burton, mm -hmm. who is currently uh, appealing his former conditions with the DEP. So. Okay, what else? We've got a public record. Yep. Okay, so that's continued. Yeah. To the little September 14th, 10.30. Uh, we have bills of correspondence. What? We have bills of correspondence. Okay. You got a bill already? Well, she has to get paid for her work in July. Yes. I mean, we pay Janice. <laughs> yeah, let, me, let me pop that for a while. You did a really good job of someone preparing a box for you. Yes. Do you look? Box of goodies to go. Yeah. Okay, so. So, <clears throat> I have a bill here for July 2021. She put in a total of 134 hours for what has worked at the conservation office. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
She works $20 an hour, so it's 2680 Do I have a motion for someone to pay this bill? I so move. Moved by Second. Edwin. Second by Gordon. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Does anybody have any further questions about this? Give some breakdown. <coughs> well, there's a lot going on, you know, because of camera and dock permits. Yep. The DOT Route 9 project, she spent a lot of time on that. She did. And uh, also setting up the run meetings by Zoom. I would just like to personally take this time to personally thank Janice for all the years of work she's done for Conscious Commission. Amen. I, I agree and with she'll you be that. sorely missed. She's Sorry. Sorely missed. Okay. Thank you, Janice. Can you sign that? Or? Yeah, I can sign that. Oh. Sorry, folks. Um, we have another bill here for uh, a clean copy of the wetland regs. Whenever it is, whoever comes to the office, it's a small bill for $18.64. Um, Mass Wetland Protection Act regulations. We don't have a current new one. Do you have a motion to pay that bill? So moved. Edwin said, I think. Order, favor? Aye. Aye. And the last bill we have is <clears throat> for National Heritage Atlas, 15th edition. Uh, once again, something for the office. Uh, it goes outside the wall of the Conservation Commission office. It's a new updated one. Do we have an office? Hmm? Do we have an office? Is that up on the second floor? Is that little closet? Okay. Where we've been for a year, a couple of years. Those guys, we were in that same room when I was you know, 36 years ago. <laughs> So, you know, we moved since then, we're now back in. Yeah. Now, this bill is for $25. Okay. Any motion? I move we pay that one. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Moving along. We have minutes for March 9th, 2021. Where? I don't have them here in front of me. Probably one of these folders. I will just move that into the next meeting. Good. Yeah. Well, hopefully, uh, maybe have some more clerical support by then, possibly. I know the town administrator is working on trying to locate someone to help the board out as well as myself. Mm -hmm. right. I know that the planning board is, is trying to do the same thing, and they are trying to share a position. And, uh, and somebody else, I don't know. Very important. It could be the ZBA or the DL. No. I can't remember the third part, I'm sorry. No. I, I don't know if there is a third, there may be a third, for a third board. There, I, is, there is a third board, I just can't yeah. come up with it at the moment. I haven't seen it all. Well, I don't doubt it. And uh, I personally think that even two boards is going to be well over the 40 hour limit. I, mean, uh, I think it might, it might have been the ZBA. Yeah. I don't even know who's on the ZBA now. Uh, any other topics that could be reasonably expected at the time of agenda posting? I don't have anything. Well, do we, is, uh, con are you guys okay with me being the Concom rep? Oh, uh, yes, please. Thank you for bringing that up. So, we are short one member to represent the Conservation Commission on the CPA. Right. That was previously Paulette, and she's no longer with us at the moment. And Edwin was a member at large. Correct. And we really need a farmer from the Concom to represent the Concom and the CPA. So I talked to Edwin early before the meeting, but we'll discuss it now, where he could potentially resign as a member at large and become the member representing the Conservation Commission. So he could just be switching hats. Right, that's it. And then that would open up someone to join the CPA committee as a large member. To continue my term for another year, two years, whatever. And um, yeah. I, I would just make a 
No, I can just make you say, tell me you make a proportion to uh, ask everyone to do that. Well, well you're gonna, I'm going to need a letter on the official stationery saying that. Like, I'll draft it up if you want. Do that for me, please. Okay. Thank you. Gordon made the motion. Second. Steve Second, any discussions? You just made the, you just made a good discussion point. Yeah. That's what the letter is going to need. Yeah. To do that. If you can prepare that. I'll try to do it. I'll, yeah. I was, I meant to do it for tonight's meeting. Yeah, I think I'll just three of us will sign it. I think you have to sign this. Uh, right, no, I we we so so three we have four or four and three. We, we can do that. It's legit. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a new member, don't we? Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. He's at peace. We're just making a recommendation to the select board. We know the select board can do whatever they wish. No comment. Regardless of how we see or think. So, I don't have anything else tonight. Ray, you want to sit by the table right. and see what it's like? Meeting adjourned. Well, <laughs> I need a motion to adjourn the meeting. I'll make a motion. Um, I think that we adjourn. Two seconds. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.